representing or presenting two products uh, in this fair. Uh, one product uh, which is the C127, mainly for the German speaking markets. Uh, it's a full electric uh, 12 meter uh, bus. We use uh, 4C power, Actia drive line, and uh, that has uh, access. It's a low floor uh, city bus, 12 meter. We will be also having different dimension of, the, of that bus. So next year we will have the 10.5 meter also on that uh, on the same platform. And then also we are presenting our uh, range in the UK, which is on the Volvo BZL. And we have, of course, all the different dimensions from 9 meter up to uh, 13 meter uh, lengths. It's a full electric uh, city bus. And uh, that bus is for London. So we, we are also producing uh, the double deck also, the electric double deck also for London. So uh, welcome to our booth and please feel free to uh, see our products. And if you have any questions, I'm available. Thank you. Yes, thank, you. Thank, you. thank you. We have been working with Volvo uh, in the UK market and uh, the Far East uh, for nearly 15 years. And, uh, and then after such uh, long cooperation, I have to say very successful cooperation with Volvo in these markets, uh, Volvo approached us to build the 7900 uh, uh, 12 meter and articulated and also the 8900 which will be an interurban uh, bus and that will be mainly for the European market. So, uh, so that's, uh, that's the contract we, uh, we just signed with Volvo and we hope to uh, we will start production from mid next year and uh, I would say by end of the year we will uh, start delivering uh, our products to the, to the markets. Yeah. So we do, do we expect uh, like this contract with other uh, manufacturers or all over the world? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we uh, uh, I think uh, it's not so easy to uh, with, uh, with different uh, manufacturers, but uh, we have a long cooperation with Volvo. That's why we could uh, continue to, uh, to work on, on other markets. Yeah. Thank you. Any update on your plans for uh, the Indian market? You had a brief entry into India along with Daimler. Mm -hmm. Any update that you can share right now? Uh, for the Indian market, uh, I think we had a project uh, some years ago with uh, Daimler, yeah. Uh, and uh, but uh, nothing for the time being, I think. Uh, yeah. So, would you highlight more about your uh, going electrification in the local market in Egypt and also your? Uh, recent plans for Middle East and North Africa, and maybe Africa as well? Uh, Egypt uh, now uh, have uh, 210 electric buses, uh, 70 are working in Cairo public transport, and 40 are working in Alexandria public transport authority, and then we have 100 uh, mm -hmm. electric uh, for the ring route. So uh, that's 210 buses. The, the BRT. It's the BRT, yes. Okay. Then um, uh, Emirates now uh, placed orders uh, actually for the COP. They have the COP in Dubai, uh, 28. So we are supplying uh, 15 buses uh, to them. And uh, we are discussing with uh, other, uh, let's say, Arab countries about electric buses. So it's, which is a very good uh, thing to say that now 
a lot of the uh, Middle East uh, are now talking more and more about electrification. So what about your plans in uh, mini buses and uh, the smaller sizes than the, the 12 and 18? We, we think there is a good opportunity uh, for that, but uh, we didn't start yet on, on that range. <laughs> How many units do you produce to global market? How many units per year? <laughs> we are producing between uh, two and a half thousand to three thousand units uh, for uh, for uh, next year. So, uh, and I have to say, uh, nearly eighty percent is export. Yeah. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.